guys, this is my first uh, YouTube uh, video. I'm sure I'm gonna make loads of embarrassing mistakes during this. I'm not really one to like edit and chop things up, so this is like straight, no script, that sort of stuff. Uh, any comments or anything, please leave below any advice. Um, gratefully received. Uh, if you wanna subscribe, subscribe. I'm just your average uh, new mum uh, trying to, you know, get back to reality after the first 18 months of having my child. And yeah, it's kind of gonna share like my life, my routines. Um, and yeah, see how it goes. So anything like subscribing, liking, commenting, please leave anything you can. Um, and I'll try and make them better as I go along, promise. Um, so today really uh, is just sort of share my experiences with you about my skin. I'm a makeup artist, I was before my son was born and I am now. And I've always been a great believer that if your skin is good underneath, your makeup can kind of look flawless on top regardless of the price range you're going for. Um, so I've always really believed in that. Um, when, before my son, uh, before I fell pregnant with my son Jackson, I had vitiligo anyway around my eyes and my chin area. You can kind of see these like lines coming off here um, and around my eyes, which I've really been working on the ones around my eyes because they were really quite prominent. When I fell pregnant, the hormones just went crazy and I had two very dark marks that came under here that were almost impossible to cover. I found even through the thicker foundations, I could still see them because um, there was such a shadow. And so I've really been focusing on those the last 18 months and I'm gonna sort of show you today what I've been doing to try and minimize that. I've been trying to avoid having anything like scary done. And when I say scary, I mean needles, knives, filling my face, Botox. And if that's your thing, then cool. It's just my inner fear. It's got nothing to do with me agreeing with it or disagreeing with it. It's just my inner fears. Um, so I've tried to do the most least abrasive way of just altering my skin. Um, I will post a picture below here of uh, the pigmentation uh, on the day my son was born. So you can kind of see how dark that was. And it, the picture you'll see is on this side here. So it will be this this panel here that you can see. Sorry, my light's playing up. Um, it, it ooh, doesn't like my hand, does it? It will be this part of my skin here that you'll see in the photo just here. So I will post that for you so you can see the before and after. Um, my friend did an amazing review on microneedling. Something you could do from home, it was really affordable. Um, you could do it at your own leisure. Um, I thought I'd really give that a go. Now, I was really lucky, I went in TK Maxx and found one for $4.99. It was a brand that I was looking on on Amazon anyway, and it just so happened it was in there, it was really lucky. So this is the brand I went with, it's called Revive. Um, the brand, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Um, and this is the box. Um, they come in all different like shapes and sizes. I went with a 0.25 mil, and it's this big. And it's the 240 needles, so it's, it's good enough size for a face and lip area. Um, but yeah, it's, I wouldn't say it's uncomfortable, it's just a, a discomfort, I guess. If you're really into like tattooing and stuff, this will be nothing. Like It'll be hardly like touching your face. Um, but I, I like to do it as much as I can. Um, sorry, I got people interrupting me. Uh, so I'm going to show you the products I use as my chill out time. Do pardon this scratch here, my child went wolverine on me this afternoon during a tantrum and caught my face, so I apologise, he's a nice kid really. Um, I'm going to show you like my routine and the products that I use and the brands that I went for and what's really worked with my skin. I used to really suffer with like dry patches and I don't anymore. I've got a really intense forehead line and that's starting to minimise as well. Um, like I've really worked on like balancing my skin out as much as possible but as I say I'll provide photos for you so you can see. Um, so the first product, I'm really into like double cleansing. So I use um, Clinique Take the Day Off to get any like makeup off like mascara and any base and then I use the oils of life range from body shop um, this is the intensity revitalizing cleansing oil in gel I like to rub it in and then sort of buff it out so I take about this sort of amount it looks like yellow and it goes on quite greasy actually uh, I just give it a good rub into my skin Sorry, I didn't do the removal of makeup because there's nothing more boring than watching someone remove their makeup. So boring. Um, so yeah, I know I would skip that bit. So I thought I'd better take that off for your You can see it does, it is like oil, so it goes in the face. And um, this is what I use 
and this is a body shop thing as well. I think it's like four pounds, really cheap, super cheap. Um, and I usually just dip it in a little bit of warm water and buff it. And you'll see it goes like a milky consistency on the skin. All this does for me is it really cleans out because I use a silicone based primer. It really gets it out of the pores because I've got quite thick pores, thick open pores. Um, so for me, it works really well at just getting all that grime right out. I don't go like super hard with it because I find it makes my skin sore if I like over scrub. But it does get all the dirt out of my skin. You'll see I'm a bit of a fake tanner, different colour face to neck. Uh, beautiful. Everyone likes a little bit of a tan. I don't know how everyone else feels, but I feel like super pale at the moment. It's the weather in it. I'm definitely ready for a bit of sun. Okay. So I get loads of grime off, loads just by doing that. So, and then I use my scuba flannel. This is also a body shop thing. This scuba flannel, I love it. It's brilliant. It dries really, really quick. It's great because it's not like super abrasive. Just to get anything that's left, you can see you can see look that what it's taken off, which is amazing. Like really pulls like everything out of your pores, like a super cleanse. I found it's really like help with blemishes, like those light like little tiny skin surface blemishes. You know, um, like the little white heads and stuff. Not like the super like boils or anything, but it's really worked on those like little pimples that you get. You know, you're like, oh, give that a squeeze. It's worked on that. I found in the last few weeks I've had one, and that was just here, and I just don't think I cleaned my face properly. Okay. I don't usually like to towel dry my face because it usually quite leaves it quite dry anyway. So for me, I sort of just give it a little bit of a, a minute, and then it's dry, so it's almost dry already. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go with my micro needle now, so I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I always do my forehead first because I like to go back to my forehead um, and just go over again just because I'm trying to minimise quite a big line. I always start just above my brow. It's weird because I can feel it. It makes like little sounds like, like it's going through the skin. And yes, it is uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you, so it's painless um, because it isn't. And I'm sure the bigger the needle the more it hurts. I mean, you can see from the redness that comes up that it's doing something. So the whole idea with microneedling is that it's penetrating the top layers of skin. Obviously, if you go past the three mil, um, that's something you would have medically done, like in a clinic or something. Um, so I always go in between. I don't really do much on my nose because I find it so painful on my nose. And then I just go from the bottom it does make my eyes a little bit run so you can see like the redness from where it's catching like the bone but apparently what happens is when it penetrates the skin it then tells the skin it needs to heal that's kind of the idea behind it I don't know the science I'm not going to pretend that I know loads about it um, but the idea is that your skin then works to like recover the skin and then it pushes all the collagen apparently to the top if that's the lie, then I apologise. But that's kind of the idea. It's trying to recover, so it's sort of making the skin work. Um, I then go downwards, personally. And the reason why I go so close to the bone here is because this is where my pigmentation was. So it's also the edge of my vitiligo as well. And I found it's really changed that. I like to go around my jawline as well. You can see, like, it's it, it's not painless, right? Okay, so I'm not going to lie to you and say, yeah, it's completely painless because it isn't. Um, but it is a pain you can tolerate that after childbirth, right? Us women are ninjas. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I find this the most faithful bit, if I'm really honest with you. Okay, and then I just go back to my forehead just because this for me is the area I'm really working on now. I've worked on obviously these areas and you'll see such a big difference. But, yeah, okay. 
So you see my skin is red. Don't do this before you're going out. You'd be crazy. Like, because it does make your skin, but it doesn't make it sore. Um, now, for me, I put Medicaid um, retinol on the top. Now, this is only a 0.3 percentage um, because I only, uh, and once I'm at the end of this bottle, obviously, I will go up in a percentage the next one so i always suggest going to a clinic or a salon if you're local to margate i got mine from skin in margate um and they do it at really affordable rates so it's under 30 pounds for that bottle and it is honestly one of those products i madly love it i can't live without it i love it it's one of my favorite favorite products it doesn't sting at all when you put this on top of, you know, the, the, the micro needle. Um, I know a lot of people say they, they got stinging. I think because I put retinol on and then my skincare, I think that's the reason why it stops it from stinging. Because obviously retinol penetrates the skin anyway. So I feel like this has got even more, it's, I'm getting more out of my retinol because it's going even deeper. And I've found that it's really worked with my skin amazingly. Um, obviously I'm not a doctor, or I'm not a skincare specialist, I am not someone who can advise you, so disclaimer, do not take everything I say as gospel, if you have any concerns, do go to a local skin clinic, a dermatologist, anyone that can give you some advice, um, because obviously I'm, I'm not trained in that, um, however obviously I can just offer you like what I'm going through and what I'm doing. So obviously now that's rubbed in. I love, I love it. It makes my skin feel amazing. Um, so that is the Medicaid uh, retinol in the 0.3%. And um, if you need any advice on where to get that from, just let me know. I'll give you some advice. Uh, the next product I use is the Oils of Life range, um, and this is a body shop uh, cream. I absolutely love this range. This is the Intensive Revitaling Sleep Cream. You can get a day cream as well. I'm, you know, I used to hate cream when I was younger. I used to sort of never hydrate my face at all. I used to like that tight feeling. Now I literally would lather my face in cream. I, I love it. I like to really massage it in. This range, honestly, I fell in love with this range. Crazy, like the Oils of Life range, I'm so in love with. I find it's really made a big difference to my skin. Um, obviously I'll never steer away from the key products that I love using but this range is affordable every product I've showed you there is under £30 so nothing's really too expensive even that big pot of cream I think it's like £29 so really really affordable okay. especially like being a single mummy on a budget I'm trying to find things that aren't part of the Estee Lauder Corporation that cost me next to nothing because I used to work for them. And now I'm having to pay full price and I just can't afford to do that. <laughs> so it's finding an affordable way of life. Now the next product I use is an eye cream and I put this on quite thickly. This is again the Oils of Life range, Intensely Revitalising Eye Cream Gel and I love it. It's one of my favourite, favourite eye gels. I put it on quite thickly and I leave it like to absorb and I don't go right up to my eye because I got really watery eyes anyway and I find if I put it right up near my eye it seems to make me worse so I put it on the top lid there I found that all the creping that I was getting from like sleepless nights or things like that has now stopped and I find that my concealer sits nicely under there now um, I don't have problems with like concealer crepiness and um, if I'm really tired then I'll do it again in the morning with this and I like to just give me a little bit of a massage really on the bone and I do take it onto the top lid but I don't go near my eyelashes I find if I go near my eyelashes that causes me a little bit of watering but my eyes water anyway I'm a real like my eyes react to weather light everything like they're really really sensitive because they're really like a really pale green I find my eyes are really like super reactive and then really, to finish it off, I use Carmex. Carmex, I, anyone who knows me knows I've got a Carmex in every single bag that I own, in every flavour colour. This is just the original. I literally plaster it on. Um, and I take loads of it. And I go over the edge and all the way around my mouth. Because I always find that if I get sore lips, it's really around the outside edge that I get really sore, especially on the corners. 
so I always like go completely over make it really thick and when I sleep with it I like to wake up and feel like it's still there uh, so yeah that's it that is literally it um, but I like to spend 10 minutes every night just doing that for myself so it chills me out depending on the day I've had sometimes I really need it and sometimes it's just a nice thing to do um, but yeah if you found this video at all satisfying um, informative uh, maybe it was just a little bit of something to watch you know get away from a little bit of mummy time maybe you just yeah maybe you just want to just have a look at what I do and watch me with no makeup on yay uh, but some videos I'm gonna do I'm gonna do with like full makeup like if I'm gonna go out I very rarely go out but if I'm gonna go out I'll do like a full look and yeah so if you want to kind of watch some more subscribe it'd be nice to see some regular faces and some people that are really interested in you know my life as a mama so i will see you all again very 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 soon if you want to see any of my work my creative work pop on over to joe sharp artistry on facebook and instagram exactly the same um i have loads of like face paint and body paint um lots of my lovely ladies that i do work with on there for you to have a little perusal and you can kind of see uh, the style of work that I love to do. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, I will be seeing you again very, very, very soon.